If you're looking to buy cheap Rocket League items, then check out today's sponsor, RL Exchange. With a large selection of items, they'll have everything you'll want to customize your new look. They accept multiple payment options and support every platform. With fast delivery, you'll have your new items delivered to you in no time. Use code RLH at checkout for a 3% discount on your entire purchase. Success throughout the season, but towards the end it was Ruas and his team Rule 1 who were getting the better of Falcons. And of course had the deeper run at Gamers 8 as well by one run. Albeit eliminated by the same team. Oh, what a shot. Ruas goes in front with the beauty. Flip reset to the top shelf. TRK was... Expecting a mind game on that one, it looks like, because he actually went back down Line to the ground. Keeping, but he knows that's not how you want to play 1v1. You've got to put pressure on your opponent. And this is just how you want to play Rocket League in general. You've got to put pressure on the ball. And here comes Rawas again, doing exactly that. Oh, TRK's find a way through the top corner with the air dribble. Absolutely beautiful control. TRK takes it in a straight line towards the far post. He, oh, uh, from he the first Salt Mine video for stage one of the competition. So. At the time of me speaking, one video is out. It's the, the first match that we casted yesterday, Zen versus Khaled. And then every 12 hours, um, until this stage is done, there will be another one. And that includes the playoffs that happen next week. TRK, by the way. That looked far too easy. Here goes TRK again with yet another air dribble. It's an air dribble dunk this time. So that is another adaptation from him. And now, another air dribble with the reset. And goes for the mind game. Oh, TRK is mixing it up beautifully. We've seen a straight air dribble, a air dribble flip reset, an air dribble dunk attempt, and now the air dribble fake. Beautiful. And I think he'll probably put down that comeback that Rawas had at the end of the game to his own mistakes more than anything else. Rawas was capitalizing on misplays. <laughs> oh my, what a play. How did TRK scoop this one under Rawas? It didn't look like he had much on this. Flip reset. And then the wave dash slots so fast to Ruas. And what can TRK do here from the ground? Flick was headed towards the top corner. Not sure if it was in or out of the post, but Ruas had it covered either way. Flip reset from close range. And a bump from TRK. Now that looked necessary as well. Ruas somehow nearly got back to save this either way. He was very low on boost. <laughs> that would have been an incredible save from him. It's Rawas coming back, just like he did last game. And now he's got a whole lot more time to hunt that goal. That currently separates the two players. Ceiling recovery off the air dribble for Rawas. <laughs> the shot from close range to tie the game. Oh, TRK's fake jump did absolutely nothing there. I think he panic flipped on the goal line as well. Both have a chance to win Group B. Well, Zen definitely does. Um... And I'm almost certain that Moxie sweeping him or 3 one him would do the trick. Take a quick look off my screen here. Another air dribble. This one does actually work for TRK. Ruas got a piece of it. Let's take a look at the POV here. Um, see how close this was. Yeah, Ruas got a touch, but Five. TRK... Had Ruas clean beat to the ball. Now TRK able to turn and take this one. He's got options here. And he chooses to dribble pretty straight at Rawas. Oh my goodness, what a move by TRK. He's just completely cut him up. He had every option in the world and he went for the good old faithful. Cut and flick. You know that. Rawas backing off the 50 boost to defend with. TRK with a reset close range. Ball kind of got away from him though and Rawas will take the possession for himself. It's an immediate shot. Oh wow, what a finish by Rawas. He absolutely sent that one. TRK did not think a shot was coming. Look at that from Roas. Just booms it. Crunching challenge from Roas, but TRK recovers well. He's got a great chance off the back wall here. Now he's air dribbling the full distance. Roas flying in from the left, but TRK goes right and pinches it to the bottom corner. Roas compliments him in the chat for that one. That one was a ceiling challenge from Roas. One. It was a heavy hit after the pre-flip, and it runs away from him. But what a save by Rawas to keep TRK from scoring in the first place. It's Rawas with the boost advantage. Wave dash cut, and the goal. Rawas pulls an angle out the bag that TRK really did not see coming. He intentionally landed at an angle there, 
to get a turn with the wind. Now the pace changes back to a slow one. Ruas with a burst of speed forces the open net and scores. TRK was right on top of the ball there. He was right in front of Ruas. But again, shoot this one, Ruas. he does. And he's hit the post. It's a very awkward position for Ruas, though. TRK with just one boost pad to work with. Ruas with just 12 boosts to his name. TRK's through! In a war of attrition, TRK comes out on top. The low 50 was the option for him. And Rawas panicked and flipped past Can him. Rawas get ball control? Looks like he will. Decides to go for the back corner instead of the mid boost though. And I think that should do it for TRK. He can grind this and he does. TRK takes down Rawas. Prediction up right now for all of you guys asking if you want to put your beans on the line. Assuming we're going to get a couple more beans on Zen now that he's scored. He's in a bit of a precarious position here though. No boost and Moxie is about to flick the ball. You know what that means. Moxie ties the game 1-1. I mean, even ha having boost in this position doesn't help a lot of players. Unfortunate not to get a bigger wave dash bump onto Moxie there. That corner boost taken away. The other one will be as well in a second. There it is. Zen. Keeping small pads and rips a wall shot. Oh my goodness, what a shot by Zed. The setup is immaculate. He's not just randomly wall dashing. He's not just spamming jump to chain dash. No, he just placed just a wall. 25 seconds to go. Moxie needs a goal immediately if he's going to come back here. And he will go all in in the hunt for it. Air dribble high, flip reset early. That one's past Zen. That will be in the back of the net. Third goal for Moxie. But is it too little too late? He needs kickoff possession. In fact, I'd go as far as saying he needs a kickoff goal. Looking for the flick, but Zen it. calls the bluff. Well, Moxie went for the fake instead of the flick there. The ball wasn't sitting exactly as he wanted on his car. Zen gets the perfect challenging angle and shuts it down again. I mean, he's just shutting down the flicks with such effectiveness. And now scoring at the other end. It's all about the approach from Zen. He deletes the ball in the top corner. But it's after he opens up an angle. It's massive for Moxie. If Nas beats Naupo, then Moxie will likely move clear of Naupo. But it all depends on the games. He needs games here. The flip reset bump from Zen is not helping him with that. Because Zen is taking games. He's just getting goal after goal. And he is shutting Moxie down. Moxie just looking in helpless many moments in this. What Zen does, he likes to just charge in as quickly as he can, close the gap before his opponent realizes and put a foot in. No way, Zen actually, of course he's reading this. I don't believe it. I do not believe what he's just done. I'm talking about Zen charging in. Well, how about that? Flip reset, mid-air 50, and then the, the read as well, making it look easy. Zen with 16 boost. Moxie does have an advantage here. Zen's used a little bit of his boost. He gets more to defend with. Moxie still has the edge in this position. Air double to the near post to bump. Oh, what a touch by Moxie! Zen was just trying to hold on, but Moxie manages to get one last touch in the ball to take it past him. game two it is. Moxie successfully comes back, and now he's in control off that left side wall. Zen has 100 boost to defend with, but he can't get to the ball in time. Moxie ties the game with a flip reset. And now wins the game with a flip reset. Huge plays by Moxie. In Such a big part of these close quarters exchanges in 1v1. Just keeping your cool, just not panicking. Even if the ball is just inches away from your goal. Oh my, that's just gone through Zen. <laughs> Pulls out an exquisite flick against Moxie. It looked like Moxie might be able to react to this one, but the, re the reverse wave dash. <laughs> the Zen that we first saw in the one scene, who looked like he had just potential that we'd never seen before and the natural ability that we had never witnessed for the game mode. Now he just looks so polished as he just slides the ball around Moxie effortlessly at pace. <laughs> That's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to watch. So if Nas does beat 
Um, as, if, if Nas does beat Naipo 3-1, I'm pretty sure Nas snipes Khaled's playoff spot. If you're a fan of Khaled, uh, well, if you're a fan of flip resets, stay right here. <laughs> but if you're a fan of Khaled, you're going to want to watch Nas versus Naipo. Hey, there's going to be flip resets in that series as well, to be fair. Oh, bad shot the grand final. Uh, but yeah, more on that later. Don't worry. It'll all, it'll all make sense. I, I promise you, it's all going to start coming together. The further into the tournament we go. Oh, what a shot. Moxie gets a compliment out of Zen in the quick chat for this one. Ceiling recovery. Completely ignores the ceiling challenge in the pre jump by Zen. Like this taking away the boost. That boost isn't spawning for a while. Moxie just trying to make do with what he's got, and he does brilliantly. Perfect awareness. The timing was absolutely exceptional. Look at the counter as well. The shot goes in just underneath the crossbar. But that was all about the defense by Moxie. Uh, Zen pressuring the ball. Oh, stealing the boost away. What a spot by Zen. To stay aggressive in this position. He's actually found a goal out of this one. How on earth has he done this? It looked like Moxie had the advantage after the kickoff, but Zen just plays the ball, not once, but twice. And on the turn, he goes for goal. Here he's Moxie won the first one with a flip reset off the left wall. He might have a right wall takeoff here. No, cuts in field instead for the dribble. He's got a brilliant angle to work with, and he shoots it behind Zen to tie the series. Well, Zen's wins might be dominant, but Moxie's wins are worth just as much. Two overtime victories. Oh, wow, honestly an incredible result for Khaled because a lot of people are calling this a group of death and everybody were you know, pointing at Khaled as, uh, you know, some people were questioning his invite, he was invited to the tournament. <laughs> While I'm saying all this, Moxie's scored a pretty decent goal there. Well done, Moxie, not bad. <laughs> Don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, holding yeah, out Khaled for it. Moxie overextends in positions like that. It will be a goal at the other end for Zen. Moxie trying to stay active here. And he has. Just forces it through, forces the issue. Brilliant boost management by Moxie this entire time. And the delay was Kick enough. Goal required. Will it be enough for Moxie? Because kickoff goal is exactly what he gets. Doesn't stop there though. Kickoff goal is just step one. Brilliant pre flip, by the way, by Moxie. Absolutely perfect. Gets left in the now he needs you would think. Can Moxie pull, pull off the impossible? Couple of wave dashes. He actually might have a chance for a demo here. Zen sees it coming, but he misses the ball. Moxie! He pulls off the impossible again. There's absolutely no way. Clutch wave dashes in the setup. Zen misses the ball in a high pressure situation. Kick off. He could try and win it to the side and play for the boost. Instead, he goes directly for goal. There's no way. Moxie with 14 boost. Zero second goal is his. Are you joking? Zed says, be careful. It turns out it was him who should have been more careful. Three goals. And he escapes, controlling the ball all the while in the back corner. Now Zen on the back foot in terms of boost. Moxie demos him. That net is going to be open. Where's Zen spawning? The wrong side. Moxie's done it. <laughs> you know, credit to him. Zen immediately sees the irony of the situation and says GG's. He'll still top the group, but wow, what a comeback by Moxie. <laughs> and you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think Batira will have a pretty good um, style to take on Rawas. Uh, you know, the guy who's had the best results against Rawas has been Moxie. And hey, Matira, thank you very much for um, scoring right after I say that. Great timing. But uh, yeah, the reason I think Matira is going to have a good match against Rawas, or you know, assume should that they're like just uh, being sarcastic because of the bump. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Oh, what a pre play for goal. Matira with own goal of the day. What a finish. He lost the kick up pretty badly. And then absolutely sent the ball into the roof of his yeah, net. Yeah, he's had some problems stopping Rawas advances as well. 
We could be headed for 10 goals for both players. Matira looking for the bump. Oh, Rubas dodges him. And he scores his eighth goal. How on earth has he dodged that one? I told you Matira is going to take any opportunity he can to get physical. Oh, it's the second jump. That's crazy. Rawas jumped once. Opens Matira up an angle that dribble. This is tough for even Rawas to save. And he just about does it. He gets it into the corner. And look at that for a recovery. How did Rawas get back that quickly? He wins 10-9 in a minute and 21 seconds. Rawas doing what Rawas does. Crazy save and an even better recovery. So, first kickoff does go the way of Atira. Oh, it's a big play off the back of it. That first touch is absolutely ridiculous, but how about that for a flick to air? around him. Awkward position for Matira, but he does so well. Rawas, strong in the aerial challenge, but Matira bumps in midair. Rawas has gone absolutely flying here. Matira's got the open net slotted in the bottom corner. That, I believe, is a legitimate compliment from Rawas, because Matira had no other option than to bump Rawas out of the game. He could not play the ball, but he sent Rawas absolutely the majority flying. Of the three games going on at the same time here. So you can, if you want to, tune into multiple. Beautiful recovery by Matira. Rawas was in the area. Oh, what an outplay. Matira with incredible hang time. Saving the dodge for the last minute. These guys are full of compliments for each other. How wholesome. That's not what we want in this salt mine. But truth be told, it kind of is. That's good to see. Rawas with the boost advantage. Forcing Matira back again. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Top bins by Rawas. 4-1. This game turning into the most one-sided that we've seen so far. Figured out how to beat Matira today. You know, I can actually give you guys a, an update on the game win-loss differential situation here. Um, While well, Matira tries to score his first goal of the game with an air dribble bump, which he does. Matira currently sits at, get this chat, plus 8 game win-loss differential. TRK, plus 7. Ruas plus six. If, if Rawas Rawa wins this, Ruas will be first. And if Matira wins this, Matira will be first. So TRK is locked in second um, already. But that is absolutely insane. You know, when we chucked in that tiebreaker, we did not for a second think it would, in fact, be used in a three-way tie. But they've all beaten each other. So head-to-head -head out the window. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go to initial, initial seed in under could... four minutes. Can Matira find a way through? Done so twice already this game. And that's not enough for now. Matira slowing the pace right down and 50 it underneath Ruas, who expected a shot or a flick at some point here. He had one jump and then a recovery and then another jump from Ruas. Matira just rolled it out. It's so hard time. to come by when Ruas is in this kind of form. Ruas does have the advantage here in terms of boost. Matira is trying to close the distance, but he's got zero boost in no man's land. And Ruas outplays him. Well, Matira might have made a mistake here. At some point, you have to accept that the other player is going to have the ball. And I think continuing to pressure that ball may have been a step too far. Oh. How is he going to try and get it? He delays. And it might, oh, it might dip in. It's so close. It's not going to be in time. It hits the post anyway. Matira tried a great effort at the end there to try and get the goal. And it just wasn't meant to be. And that confirms... The Rawas victory, 3-1, crucially.